Right now, you're going to watch an important BWB episode that's going to give you basically a q and I'm going to share with you my insights, my thoughts, and everything. I want you to first, though, before you watch the video, I want you to comment below. Let me know what questions, insights that you have as you're watching it. Uh, comment below on the answers to this question that you're about to see. And also, any questions that you have, you want me to answer on future BWB episodes. I'm watching all the specific comments that you have. I'm going to comment, I'm going to read, and go through that as well. Thanks for watching. Do I have to be a specific type of leader to be a successful business owner? The short answer I would say is yes, you have to be able to develop leadership characteristics or if your charisma and your, your direction that you provide for your team, I think in short, yes. The long answer to this is there's two dualities that are very important with leadership. So when it comes to leading your team, it's you developing the traits that you need to have in order to be a very successful business person, your leadership how you communicate with the team, how you build that culture, how you set the expectations with them, how you set the process for them to be successful. There's eight core values that we have like at Sun Digital Strategy that I always like focus on when I'm bringing on people and also that I want each team member to live. And I personally as well, I have to live these core values in order for them to live the core values, right? I would be a, it would be a joke if I personally did not live to these core values and I expected other people to do it, right? So everything that I do right now when I, as I'm building like the culture and the team and whatnot is stuff that I'm setting for, for them is based on what I, has worked proven for me in my life up to this point. So that's another thing is that as you evolve as a leader, you need to update them and update what you're doing with them on things that are working successfully for you. Uh, you can go on bensonsoncom forward slash careers if you want to see like the eight core values that go in depth like what's happening. And also at the same time, the benefits and stuff that I actually give to each individual team member. So that's something that you focus on as a leader, you wanna lead, you wanna make sure that each team member is successful in their own specific role, and also outside of the role as well, right? Personal, professional feedback. The other thing is, you, as a leader, you wanna to play to the strengths and the roles of each individual person. So you understand like the team member's personalities, what motivates them, what, uh, what keeps them um, interested, what is the main thing that they wanna focus on, right? What do they feel fulfilled doing and also at the same time, balance that between what you feel like they can be successful in. So it's a balance between you knowing what is best for them and then what they are doing in terms of uh, what's successful for them. So for example, I have uh, critical drivers as a leader. Critical drivers are, if you think about if you want to be successful uh, losing weight or building muscle, you have to what? You have to eat clean, sleep early. You have to <laughs> eat clean, sleep early, drink a lot of water, and you gotta work out three times a week, right? The critical driver is exactly like that. I have critical drivers for each individual team member that they need to basically do. Let's say a content person, I say you gotta produce a piece of content a week. You gotta update a piece of content every single week. You gotta do at least two to three target audience researches every single week. So when I set these critical drivers, it allows them to be successful in their role. Each team member has a different role, uh, but the traits of the, the leader, I'm jumping around, is focusing on understanding your team member individually, what are the traits that they have that are gonna be the most important for them to be successful, and how do you incentivize them, and how do you set them up for success, other than you under knowing what they wanna be successful with. So essentially, in a, in, in, that's a long answer. Understand your, develop your own leadership traits, build that culture, build a team. The second thing is understanding your team, what they want. Are they successful doing what they're supposed to be doing when you brought them on? And at the same time, what is it gonna take for them to get to the next level? So if you want more details on the actual specific stuff, go on bensonsoncom forward slash careers. Those are the first page that I have every single person that wants to work together on that page. The values, the benefits, and also the values is really how I define the leadership characteristics, the traits and stuff that I want them to have. I wanna lead by example in a nutshell, right? All the core values, like one of them is, is fulfillment and impact. How am I doing that? and how is the team doing that? Another duality add on to this, uh, the main thing is if you wanna be, what type of specific leader you have to be really depends on your personality, uh, your communication, your values, and also the people that you bring on. I've had, basically I'll share experience, right? So I've had colleagues and friends that focus more on like the Ruby side. So for example, what that means is they're more like the alpha type male they bring on people that are also alphas, they're very driven, they're very motivated, no BS, hustle, do like 150%, which doesn't make sense to me, by the way. And there's people that are more pearl. For example, let's say if they're um, a nonprofit organization, uh, she focuses on actually developing people that are more caring, that are more social impact driven. And she has values that are associated with that. 
if they're, let's say, an accounting firm, they're focusing on what's analytical, data-driven stuff, like the very in-depth things that they need to see the numbers, the analytical, you got to be very detail-oriented, that's a value that you have to have. So the type of leader that you have to be really depends on the business that you're doing, the team that you want to bring on, and your personal core values, and how all three of these things intertwine. So the most important step, if you actually want to be a, a good leader for your team, you got to figure out what business are you building, what are your personal core values, and which team members are you bringing on that fits those core values and the team. So I'd say that's a, in a nutshell what I would share with you.